So I had an idea recently. I haven't been doing that many projects with the electronic side of things on the channel, but not nearly enough lately, because doing the production of the videos is, well, I'll be honest, is kind of daunting sometimes when I want to do a simple project. I think how long it's going to take to script and do the video. I think what I'm going to do is a back to basic style of uh, videos and just take you along on some quick projects. Uh, hopefully quite often, regularly. I won't say daily because I don't think that's possible right now, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and bring you along for a bunch of cool little builds and we'll try out some components I haven't tried before and revisit some I have and share the code and share how I do things. i just bring you guys along. Let's do it. For those of you that have been around a while, you'll remember these cases. This is one of four that I use to keep all my microcontrollers and project parts and pieces and you name it. I'll post a link down below if I remember it, if you're interested in seeing, well, some of the bulk of what's in here. I occasionally do a, a what's inside video from time to time. Okay, we're going to start with an Arduino Nano. This is a wonderful little microcontroller that I love for a lot of reasons. They just work great in so many projects. And on top of that, we're going to need a few other parts. In this case, this is going to be the star of the show. We're going to play with one of these cool little OLED displays. This is, a, I believe, 128 by 32 OLED display. Uh, it's an I squared C interface, so only two wires required, plus power and ground. And we're going to see if we can make it work. On top of that, we'll need a breadboard. I love these. Real simple solderless breadboard. That way we can plug in our Arduino and our display and run our jumpers. For that, we'll need a handful of jumpers, too. I've got all kinds of them down in the bottom here. I'll just grab grab a bunch out. Yeah, that'll do. Perfect. Before I assemble this, I've quickly got to run to the shop. Actually, I'll take you with me. Uh, you might find it interesting. There's some pretty cool equipment there. So I had to pick up a parcel. I got a book from Amazon, a bit of YouTube stuff. I'll maybe show you that in a bit, but I thought you guys might find this interesting. This is a little bit of my day job or what used to be my day job. Uh, I do software side of things now for uh, wind turbines. And in here, check this out. Have you guys ever seen anything quite this large? This is a gearbox for a 1.65 megawatt wind turbine. Here, I'll give you a look. For the mechanical nerds out there, you might find this kind of interesting. This is obviously a used one that's come out. I changed plenty of these when I was working up tower and wrenching on things. It's hard to get a t uh, an idea of scale here. There's my hand compared to one of the, uh, the gear stays. Pretty neat stuff, something that the public doesn't always get to see. And here's a whole bunch more. This is our kind of lay down in our storage yard. That's one with a main shaft attached, ready to be installed in a wind turbine. Got a whole bunch of coolant here, all kinds of neat stuff. So back before I uh, did the software side of things, I started off wrenching on these big stuff. A lot of fun, uh, a lot of hard work. It's, uh, it's a tough job and it's a hostile environment up there. But I did, it, did my time in the field and I enjoyed it for a few years and then I became a lead technician in charge of a quarter of a billion dollars worth of these machines and now I do technical support. So that's my story. I thought you guys might find it fun. All right, back on the bench. I've gone ahead and soldered up the Arduino. We're going to go ahead and set it into the breadboard. So we split the center. The great thing about Arduinos is the really low cost barrier to entry, really low barrier to entry, and there's no age limit. Anyone can learn to do this. This may look complicated, but it's not. You can do this, and I'm going to show you. Here's our, uh, our OLED display. 
We have four connections on it, our SDA, SCL, which is our serial data and our serial clock, and then our power and ground. We go ahead and set it over here where we can work with the breadboard. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up the wires. We're going to do, let's use red for our power. We're gonna do power to the power on the Arduino. Uh, this is, I believe, I'm not even sure. I think it's a 3.3 volt, it might be a 5 volt, but we can be safe. We can do VCC to our 3V3. There we go, to the 3.3 volt. We're going to do ground to a ground. Perfect. Easy peasy. We are going to do SDA to analog 4. Now, I've outlined that in the code, uh, and I have it really memorized actually. It's the, these are the normal pins, the serial data, and the serial clock. So SDA to A4. And we're going to do serial clock to A5. There. Easy. Looks a little messy because using jumpers, well, it is kind of a little bit messy, but it works and allows us to prototype things. Now we just got to take it up to the computer and we'll do a quick little program on it and you'll see this is super easy and we will have a fully functional display. Okay, at the computer. Brought the Arduino up, uh, got a USB cable so we can plug it into the computer and we're going to dive right in. First thing you're going to do, well, first thing I would do is I go to Google and I Google for this particular device and the first result, my favorite result, is the Adafruit library. We're going to go ahead and use that because that's what I'm familiar with and while well, that's what I'm going to give you going forward. So you're going to clone it, you're just going to download the zip file. I've already done so. In the IDE you're going to go to add zip library in manage libraries we're going to go to the desktop. I've already downloaded this and I've already uh, installed it. Adafruit Master Zip. We're going to open that. I've already done it, so it's not a problem. We're going to go to File, Examples, Kin, Examples. We're going to go to the Adafruit SSD 1306. And because we're using the uh, I2C version, we're going to go ahead and open that. Now, this is the example as written by them. I'm going to suggest that you just use mine in this case. I'm going to add some things to theirs. Actually, you can, there's nothing wrong with using this. We can go ahead and upload it. Let's go ahead and upload it as it is. We're going to go to Tools. We've got a board. We've got the Admega 328, which is the Arduino Nano. And we are good. We're going to hit Upload. And with any luck, it's going to upload to our board, it's going to compile, and the example is just going to work in theory. Most times the Adafruit libraries just work fantastic without, without issue. I'm a big fan of them. And we're programming, programming, we'll let this go. Done uploading. And on done uploading, go to the camera, and sure enough, we have a functional display. It's running through a self-test of a whole bunch of cool things that Lady Ada and others have programmed in. It goes through a bunch of ASCII characters and draw lines and some neat stuff, some triangles. And what else we got? Oh yeah, ASCII characters there, a little bit of a scrolling function, the whole bit. Well, let's go quickly back to the code. Quick look back in the code. You can see everything is defined and set up in the setup here. And they've got display.clearDisplay. Display. That's pretty familiar for me. We've got some draw pixels. We've got draw many lines. They've commented this very well, but everything is mainly done in the setup. So uh, we might want to take and adapt this. Now, what I'm going to do is I've already started a GitHub. I've already started dumping my version in and the only difference with my version here is a few comments this is their example sketch and a few comments to tell you what pins to connect on the particular arduino that we're using this is for the arduino master that i'm doing well i think i'll go ahead and do another one because we need to do something with this okay we've got my version open here and just a few comments on it nothing new we'll go ahead and make a new file now, I think what we'll do 
is we'll just copy everything over. I don't know what that eight is at the top. That's interesting. That shouldn't be there. Let's get rid of that. I don't know if that could cause trouble. We'll copy everything out. Let's do everything right down to the bottom of setup. And we'll just duplicate this. Actually, let's do everything right to loop. And we'll go to the new funnel. We'll go ahead, kill everything here. Paste everything in, control V, no problem. Loop is actually, I didn't copy that final bracket, the IDE added it, perfect. So now what we'll do, we can leave that, we can leave all the LCD height, we can do the serial begin. Now, what do we want to do? Let's leave, well, we want to clear the buffer, that's important. Draw a single pixel. Well, we don't need to do that. Display.display .display is when it draws it, delay is two seconds, still clear display. Let's let's get rid of all of this. Let's, let's get this ready to use in a, a new project. Most of projects you're going to want to do some characters or some scrolling text. This looks good. Let's get down, rid of everything down to here. Uh, display begin, display dot display. There's nothing there. Unnecessary. Ah, uh, well, we can leave those there for now. Let's go to Let's change this to MKME test new OLED. And let's make sure that it works. And display dot display, and then it's going to clear display. Now let's get rid of let's get rid of all that. Let's move this to the loop. And now it's just that simple. For, let's do uh, file save as, uh, let's go to the desktop. Let's put it back where we did before. The skinny OLED, and we're gonna put it right into the GitHub. So we'll do Eric's OLED print text. Perfect. We've got a loop, we've got set text styles, Display print line, perfect. Let's see, let's see if it compiles. This is how we learn. This is, a, this is how I play with a new library that I'm not familiar with. So we've got a function is not allowed before a token. So what have we got? Do we have something inside that I'm missing? Ah, here we go. Troubleshooting. We missed the end of our setup. We are missing that. Now, if we highlight that, there we go. Our setup is now complete. Now it should, now it should compile with any luck. Done compiling without errors. Yay. Upload. Now, once uploaded, we have the Adafruit splash screen. And we've got a whole bunch of gobbledygook. So we have to deal with that. Let's see what we've got. We've got display print line of some other stuff going over top of what we want to show. Hmm. Let's go back to the code real quick. Now we left in the display print line. We've got looks like displaying some pi and displaying this, but we hadn't cleared it yet. And then we wrote to the display again. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. So we're gonna do set cursor to home, zero, zero, display the word, display dot display, writes it out to the display, delay 2000, and then we're going to clear the display. And then we're gonna start over. So in theory, that should work a little bit better. And now, there we are we actually have just the text we wanted on the screen. So we can use this for any project now. 
And you can just hack and paste and cut and paste from the original example sketch. Just that simple. You can adapt this for anything. And that's how I did it on my original Nokia 5110 videos and any new OLED, any new screen. This is how I do it. Follow the examples, hack and paste. We can resize this text to make it work for how we want. No problems. Hope this helps. So that's it. That's the process I go through to get one of these OLEDs to work or any any device that I work with. I hope I hope this helps someone. I will post my GitHub repo down below and a link to the forum thread so you guys can get some help in the future as I expand on this. And I think what we'll do is we'll keep this project going and do some more add-ons to this. I hope you find it interesting. I hope I can edit this so it's a little bit fun. Good luck in all your projects. Hit me up on Patreon or Discord down below. I'd love to have you. See you in the next video.